boys nice to you guys? Yes, they were. They were great. They were great. <laughs> <Keep their ass. laughs> so, so um, uh, a brave new world or a new world you have to be very brave about being on. Yes. Very much so. I mean, I think that I think that when Echo goes, you know, into a space, especially a land, she knows that that's her forte. So she'll. Um, I think she has a sensibility where she's like, okay, you know, these guys grew up in space. I grew up in a forest with a bunch of people who wanted to kill me all the time. So she has, you know, this intuition woven into her system that doesn't really operate as well in the new planet. Uh, so she has a confidence that I think gets dismantled really quickly. So as far as Harper's death, I agree. It's funny because that was a big conversation at the beginning of the season. Um, they were filming that. Uh, oh, did you guys see the? Uh, they're panning across all of us as we were watching Monty and processing it. And Jason was like, Echo is not showing that she's affected. And I was like, okay, copy. He's like, don't cry. And I was like, mm-hmm. And then I could just feel the camera like moving towards me. I'd feel like a tear like brimming. And I'd be like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. And I was like trying to like suck it back into my system. And then of course when the camera is here, it just goes boom, 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 boom. And I was like, damn, they're like, cut. Let's do it again. And I'm like, rats. Um, because... You know, she does feel, she feels so much for Monty. Monty and Harper, I mean, that whole Space Crew family was everything to her. So, and especially Monty, I feel like Monty, like, really, if you could find two characters who are more opposite, it might be Echo and Monty. And so, like, her finding a friendship within him was really instrumental in her understanding of, you know, this group of people and stuff like that. So, she wants to do good by him. Yeah. Can we be hopeful to see a friendship between Echo and Clark? We can be hopeful. So many things. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can, you know, I think... One thing that I do love is the objectivity and the sense of needing to get the job done that I think they both share, you know, and that... Echo does, isn't someone who kind of holds on to a lot of the past. She's 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 like happily ready to move on and you know as a group move forward towards the next goal, which is sort of always survival. Um, but it's cool to be able to work on a show where they're not pining people against each other in a traditional sense. You know, there's a, there is a lot of cohesion between Clark and Echo in terms of like things that need to get done. Um, so we can look forward to that. Question: How about you know, and Echo seem to have a very good relationship going on? How is this season going to be for them? I mean, they like any couple have a fight or two here or there, and we showed one of them this year. <laughs> um, but they do balance each other out, you know, which I think is a beautiful thing. I thought I was always really endeared by how they met, and I remember filming that scene. It was the first thing that I shot on the show, and how he surprised her in the kitchen. She hated, you know, Sky Crew. She spat in their face as soon as she found out that's who they, he was, and by the end of the episode, she was already feeling herself open up to her enemy, and that's a beautiful thing for a person to experience, you know, so I love that growth that Echo has experienced in the place they started and where they are now, I think it's great. It's just kind of growing back in after the season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just kind of like it, yeah.